Hello guys, today it's Redman and today we are actually working on my model train layout. Here getting some help, as you can see, this is a mountain. <laughs> you guys are going to say, oh yeah, no, yeah, the, it is. But we're actually starting to get somewhere. And before we obviously get any further, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, you know, because it helps a lot. We already got the first mountain, this is our second mountain, which is amazing. And yes, you're on a nice leaf stand that I have bought myself. So, yeah, it's really good. One of the main things I'm going to be doing is obviously I'm going to be doing this and I won't be showing the whole mainly video to you guys of us just doing this and letting it dry. I'll obviously cut it out for you guys so you don't have to watch a very boring video just watching two guys building their the model obviously. Our main things we're using is toilet paper, um, PVA glue, and a bit of water. Our mix is a 50 50 mixture. Well, as you can mainly see, that's all the way out there. So, yep. Yeah. So, working on that. Taking off to show you what we've done with the other one. Nice. In the sun, this is our other mountain. As you can see, this is made by a great mesh. And obviously, there's my other stuff here. Forks down here. Obviously, I'm going to be using that. Otherwise, just, there's the mesh. Here. And you might be wondering for the base, we got a tub right here full of Rena Art plaster that we bought from the dollar shop. So, this is just a little sneaky preview. And I'll come back with the next part of it. Alrighty guys, so we've got an update of um, what's happening. The mountains are completed, I'm working on another mountain which is also happening to be the tunnel system. And I've obviously um, measured it so all my locomotives can fit right through here, as you can see. There's enough clearance, there'll be enough clearance for the class 92. As you can see, so if I like put the pentagraph up, see there's enough clearance and even enough for the Parramatta train. So basically this is just all just one single use of toilet paper, some areas like obviously here. You and you I had to put up a wrap in there and stick it in there, which we will do over here, as you can see. We don't want sharp edges on our layout because we'll make it unnatural, won't make it look feel good. And people are gonna just look at it and say, "Oh, this looks horrible," something like that. But yeah, mainly this layout has been got nothing done with it when it was obviously just a blank. I had to, it was mainly all the thinking I had to do that took it up to the stage 
where we are right now of actually laying out the layout. Obviously, as I said, and I'm not going to show you the whole process, but it just mainly has to be done. It takes time because I have to let this to dry, as you can see. And letting it dry, I have to put it out in the sun. I just have luckily have had enough to actually deal with today's job. And yeah. There I'm hoping to get more locomotives out soon because I'm going to plan to buy some more. And obviously, I'll make some reviews. So subscribe to the channel and then you'll and put on notifications so you can find out when these videos would come out and more about the layout. Obviously, by the time I probably make the next video, I don't know what it will be about. Probably like this will all be finished and actually in there. in the actual spot and letting the train roll over and where the tunnel would be see how it goes obviously I have to measure how obviously the cars so when they turn they don't scratch into these edges here so I make sure that was perfect and because you don't want to screw it up while doing this job Alright, so this is mainly the end of this video. Uh, obviously, like, subscribe to the channel. And have a great day.